the heart muscle um, takes about six weeks to heal completely. And people thought that if you exercise that you could rupture the heart. And that's uh, why people were put to bed for six weeks in hospital. But they developed blood clots and muscle wasting and everything. And T Toronto had started up a rehabilitation program. So, uh, so in 1977, started up, up one here. Uh, did it initially with the hospital, but the um, hospital lawyers got a, got a little bit sort of worried that somebody was going to drop dead and they wanted them to, to sign release forms. So, so I said, well, I wanted the people who didn't come to the exercise programs to sign release forms because that was more dangerous than coming to it. And anyway, we, we went into the community and it was better to be a program in the community. And um, that's what we've been going, going since then for 40 years. You know, it's, it's a pretty amazing program, a program that has lasted so long that he's committed himself for so long and he continues to do it. The mark that he has made by starting the Cardiac Fitness Club is uh, one which will last a long, long time. And um, uh, early on, I sometimes was able to have the privilege to go and fill in for him uh, when he was away on uh, holidays or at uh, conventions and got to meet a lot of the people that uh, came every Tuesday morning at eight o'clock to um, be a member of the Heart Club. And it really was not only just a club that you were a member of, but it was very much a family and an exemplary one that uh, still uh, has its uh, resonance, I think, in the community up to this day and will have for a long, long time. I'm just trying to think of how to characterize John um, and I'd put it under four C's. John is concise, he is uh, calm, he is cooperative, and he is committed. He's committed to his family, to his colleagues, to his friends, to the community, and in particular, his commitment to the, uh, to the Heart Club uh, was very remarkable. You know, we learned very early what kind of man he was and the kind of man he was made him the doctor that he was uh, which is just a very kind soul and you know you always knew you could trust him um, the patients knew that he didn't say very much but he saw the big picture a lot of people come for a short time and then once they get once they get into it and feel comfortable then they, you know they they don't come back some people come back uh, regularly and it's for the social aspect of it and the social aspect is very important in heart disease. By the 30th anniversary which was in 2006 uh, there were about 100 up to 175 members of the Heart Club and there may be even more now. It's been very rewarding and this is a you know that's a, the one thing I haven't given up yet. <laughs>